So the other day I was down at our Regency Park warehouse uh, just to do a bit of a stock check and get a feel for what was going on with the move that we're about to make. And I picked up something that should have been being done differently. And it got me thinking about the importance of presence. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Today I wanna to talk to you about being present as a leader, especially as a founder. As I said at the start of the video, I was down at Regency Park the other day uh, which is one of our, it's a, it's a dark side effectively, no one's there. Uh, it just kind of gets used to manufacture liquid fertilizer and put it in bottles. And the labels that were going onto the bottles weren't quite straight and they were kind of offset, which, you know, to most people probably wouldn't have been a massive deal. And, you know, I, they, they'll still go on shelf. They don't, they're not, uh, you know, drastically out of whack, but I want them to be perfect. And so um, but if I hadn't gone there, I wouldn't have seen it. And I think that as a founder, especially if you have a uh, a certain accent to how you run businesses and uh, that's something that you want to scale, the best thing you can do is be on the ground from time to time. And the reality is you can't be on the ground all the time because you're actually running the business and you're looking at strategic direction and you're, and you're actually like charting the, the course so that the business can follow the map. But getting on the ground and uh, touching and feeling and seeing and smelling um, and understanding what's going on, uh, I think scales the culture uh, really well. Uh, there's, you know, only so many videos and uh, documents and procedures and policies that can be read or watched. Uh, but the true uh, vibe or the true accent of, of a business, I believe, comes from the leadership being present and on the ground and walking around. And so uh, I would encourage you, if you're not doing this, uh, if you're in the construction industry, get to your sites once a week, once a fortnight, whatever works. If you're in retail, walk through your stores, um, have a look, ask questions. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like uh, aggressive, like, you know, punishing questions. It'd just be like, how come that, how come there's that there? And there might be a good answer, but it gets your team thinking about it. It also makes them aware of the expectation and it, uh, will hold the, the culture of the company to a higher standard in my belief. So give it a crack. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, is there a, a reality that I don't understand that once a business gets to a certain size that you just can't do that? I don't know. I haven't got there yet. But um, that is it. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to each other. Most importantly, be kind to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.